Good evening fellow cryptid enthusiasts. Welcome to a nice October evening. We are reviewing the Patterson Gimlin footage of Bigfoot. I, I don't know. I think it's fake. <laughs> Probably a person in a suit or something. It's a little too clear. I used to like always believe in it, but like the more 4K it gets, like the clearer it gets. It just looks like a big guy in a suit. I mean, shit, its ass was as fat as mine is, so I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. I think it's a dude in a suit. Just looking at the footage, uh, they they said it was six foot nine, which is just kind of tall. I mean, could be a guy in a suit still. I mean, if you look at Harry and the Hendersons, um, that that suit was seven foot tall, um, and it looks just like a Bigfoot there too. I reviewed the two kind of shortcut ones. I will have to say that I thought they were very interesting. Definitely seemed like two different sightings, but as we film, we know that the sun can cause like some color just dis distortion kind of within the like the films of like just the angles of which it was taken because it does seem very realistic, but it also could also could be not. Like I definitely believe in Bigfoot, but that footage is from the two, it's just real difficult, so I don't really know. But I have heard the theories about the interdimensional Sasquatches, which, again, I could believe in too. Not like, not like full on believe that that's what it is, but the chance of it being creatures from another world, I can't like not say that it could not be possible. Because I definitely think that there are other creatures out there and they could be coming to visit because there's been sightings of orbs and crafts by like certain Bigfoot sightings. So there could be some. All right. So before we get to the debate between me, Andrew and Sam, I just wanted to give my input. Personally, I do think whatever is in this video is legitimate, uh, whether it is a true Sasquatch or whatever, it's it seems real enough even today if you see a bigfoot picture it's most likely this one it is a subject that i have jumped back and forth on i started off in the 90s being very on board you know i was a kid and it was all over i had books with cryptids and ghosts and stuff and you know this frame was shown but then you know i grew up i kept my belief in ghosts because obviously i had my experiences with it i never had an experience with a bigfoot or sasquatch and so you know, you grow up and you hear from people it's a person in a suit, so I definitely believed it. Uh, but the more, you, I mean, the older I got, the more I looked into it, the more I felt like it, it was legitimate. Whether that creature is still out there or not, you know, maybe it was the last of its kind and it died. It, I mean, I, I feel like it was it was real. We'll, we'll get into the Patterson-Gimlin film as far as details about it. Obviously, it was filmed October 20th, 67. Uh, so the anniversary was just a couple days ago. It was filmed by Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin. And they, you know, they had a camera. And there's a whole big story behind it. And at some point we will, we hope to go out to California and be able to film and really walk in their tracks. But yeah, they, they filmed this. There's a weird story behind it. Check out the weirdest movie ever made by Phil Hall. And it really gives you a good description on that. Um... But yeah, they went up there. They had heard stories of a Bigfoot up there with new footprints and stuff. So they wanted to go up there, try to document it, um, maybe get a video of the creature. And they kind of just looked into it. And from what it looks like is there's two Sasquatch. Um, there's going to be this scene where it's walking away right now where it definitely looks like a different one compared to obviously the famous shot. And so a lot of people, including Max Hawthorne, who will show you our interview a little bit later, believes that it does show two different creatures. And I would have to agree they look differently. But, I mean, overall, it's a really important cultural aspect of our society. Like, real or not, it's that 
that hope that, you know, there's still stuff to learn. Like I said, I believe it's real. Um, lots of people do, lots of people don't. But it's definitely become probably the most scrutinized piece of film outside of the Zapruder film of the JFK assassination. And I say that's got that's got to say something right there. Uh, so like I said, we're going to go into some debates in just a second. Uh, but while we can, I wanted to show you a little snippet of our interview with Max Hawthorne, uh, which you can click the link above and hear the entire thing. But this was just our little snippet about the actual Patterson portion. Uh, so enjoy that, and I'll catch you on the flip side. You know, but I'm a firm believer. I mean, if you look at the Patty footage, you know, the Patterson Gim one, yeah, the, bitch, yeah, the original, I yeah. can tell you right away that that's real. Okay. There's no doubt. Okay, and you've seen all these tests. The first thing is, anybody who says that that's a costume, okay, I had anatomy in college. I had to go see cadavers and all this stuff, okay? I also had human origins. I studied the great apes, you know, the zoos, all this other stuff, okay? So anybody who says, oh, that's a costume, I wore that costume, all this other stuff, and I, I would tell them right to their face, their face, okay? When you see that animal walking at one point, and you watch its thighs. There's certain key frames that hits the ground, and you see the thigh muscles flex. Okay, boom, like like huge quadriceps, the vastus lateralis, all these muscles. You could see them all. That's not a costume. Okay, and there's this person doesn't have these giant leg muscles either, and, and then managed to grow all this hair on top of them, etc. You know, there was no technology then for it, and there's no technology even now for special effects to create that. And then there's the part where she's walking in the back. And I was told, and I believe this that by someone, that there were actually two different Bigfoot films there. Because yeah. at one point- I've seen it and I'll have to send, if I can find it, I'll send you the link. Somebody yeah. broke it down where you can see Patty going into the woods. Mm -hmm. And then there's like another one standing in the woods watching them filming. Well, the view walking from the back is what you know throws me because all of a sudden, she has these tremendously wide shoulders. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger covered with hair times 50. You know, yeah. you could see the latissimus dorsi and the trapezius, all these muscles rippling. No, again, not a costume, but it looks like a male. And then when you see her when she's walking towards the woods, she's not that, doesn't have all that upper body mass as much. So, you know, really, I believe you got two different animals there and filmed from two different perspectives and stuff. But, you know, so, I mean, I have no doubt that these creatures are real. I have no doubt that there are people out there that won't, don't want people knowing about them. All right, so now that we've given you guys our thoughts on the footage itself, uh, I'm going to, we're going to kind of try to debate, give you a solid answer. Cooks, it's real. No. It's That's not. a yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. See, we're, we're, we're slowly getting him to say, but yes, Bigfoot is real. There is yes. no such thing as Bigfoot. There's no such thing as Bigfoot. See, he says this, but when we were in at Coney Island, I asked him the question. You saw a twinkle in his eye. You go back, watch that video. You'll see a twinkle in his eye. Show me, show me some real evidence. Give me a bone or a head. See, at some point, we're going to go squatch him to go prove to Cookies that this is a real animal. And I will there. come out and say, oh, my God, it's real. Oh, my God, I was so wrong. This is the wrongest I have ever been. I have never been wronger. I've been wrong before, but I've never been wronger about this. I mean, I think we could all agree the first thing you see would not be an alien dropping Bigfoot off, like a UFO. Oh, you absolutely would see that. No. I mean, there no, are some we're... cases where oh. it does happen. See, I can almost believe aliens. I can almost believe, I can believe aliens, I can because believe, they came out and said that there was aliens. I can believe no. there's aliens, because mathematically there's got to be something else. There's just too many planets. Right. To, but they're not Bigfoots. I mean, they could be, you don't know. Are you saying it could be it, an it interdimensional could be, Bigfoot? It could be an yeah. interdimension, interdimensional being. Oh, it's yes. an interdimensional oh, being. Geez, geez, not <laughs> interdimensional. <laughs> Do you hear this, interdimensional? See, he's, he's starting to believe in that, just like he's starting to believe in Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. I mean, I believe in other dimensions and stuff. I just I just don't get the Bigfoot connection. I think it's more, it's he's interdimensional because there's no bodies found. 
I think that's their cop out. True. Same with the UFO thing. They're like, well, there's no bodies because he just goes back up in his UFO and, like, blah, 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 and then you never find a body. I can almost or believe that. Or bodies get I taken almost, most likely from the government. That. But that's that's I why you don't believe. see any alien bodies. The government swoops in and it's just like, skirt. Do you think they could, you know, Bigfoot start doing some stuff, harm a couple people? They go in and take them out? I mean, they have, but nobody has ever been recovered from it. Well, the they people, all disappear. Well, the ones... I mean, we, we can go into this in a longer video. You know, the mafia, they make people disappear, too. Yeah. Do you think they would tell you it was a weather balloon you saw? A post from a Sasquatch? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but that was just a dig, because it's always weather balloons. We saw something under the water. It was an underwater I mean, weather balloon. If they start saying that a Sasquatch sighting was a weather balloon, then you know something else is up. Because I mean, I just said that. Weather balloon there's something wrong here. They're, the running, they're running out of things to say. I just said they're that. running out of cover up. The Roswell stuff, you know, aliens. If it is alien, weather, I mean, they could use that. True, but a lot of the footage is filmed more on the ground than in the air because there could be stuff in the air, but there, people are being too distracted by it another sighting to see the other things there or blind to it completely see my my theory on all this 99.9 percent .9 of the bigfoot stuff you see is aliens is fake aliens the patterson footage is that point one <laughs> where i'm like i think this is real what, what what makes you think it's real um just like so they look different the shot of it walking into the forest and then the shot of it, like the famous shot where it turns and looks, looks completely different animals. One's wider and darker. You know, it did, it did look a little different, but it, yeah. it was, you know, super shaky. I mean, yeah, versus... but this is, this is when it's been like super well, they, they clear. They were running after them, like at that point, because they were trying to get closer. Yeah, they went around the bend, and that's when they saw it, and they thought it was the right. same big But this, this was also the, the 60s, so what, what makes you think that the, the movement around doesn't distort the color, the, the well, image yeah. itself? Like I said, the sun and other things could have made it seem like it was two different ones, because I thought it looked like two different ones myself. But true, but knowing how like lighting affects videos, like yeah, I mean, I mean, I've definitely seen an angle because like it could have been like the same size or like the same like creature with the build, but you can't really see it because of the angle that they were shooting it from. Yeah, I I can definitely see this, um, but then again, having talked to Max Hawthorne when we did our interview, he's really he knows a lot about anatomy. He says when he watches that, he sees a lot of anatomy in that that you can't get from a suit back in the 60s. Even today, a lot of it would be harder to fake. True. And so, hearing it from someone like him, where he's like, he knows his anatomy and stuff like that. We know the guy that made the Planet of the Apes suits, everyone says, did it. He comes out, he's like, I wish I could make a suit that good. I mean, I think it's real. True, It's I in agree. the right habitat. Do I think you're going to see a Bigfoot walk around downtown New York City? No, because why would you? It's terrible. Maybe a raccoon, but like, not a Bigfoot. A big raccoon. There he was, big prehistoric raccoons, but they're dead. So, like, the Mokelia Membe does not exist. The Ropin does not exist. Nessie's probably... No, Ropin is... Oh. We'll do a cool fun fact about it. There's just a giant pterodactyl that lives, but it looks nothing like a pterodactyl. Oh, Any that's known a pterosaur. It would be better if it be described as a what's clawless. Because of pterodactyl. Well, that's how big it is. And apparently it, it eats dead human beings, which A, does not seem like a good substance for pe like an animal survive on, let alone a population of animals. Uh, I mean, Plus how it's built. If it's off the of dead animals. True. Yeah, but you're human. Right, maggots. Yeah, but then to dig, it has no way to dig. If it looked like a Quetzalcoatlus, <laughs> it would make more sense because as dark and pterosaurs have big shovel heads, pteranodons have really, really heavy jaws. They wouldn't, they couldn't dig. Plus, it has a really long tail that's not very good for flying. The bigger the pterosaur, the smaller the tail. Didn't they just discover not too long ago some sort of giant bird? 
All right, all right, you guys, we're getting off topic. I suppose so. <laughs> hey, we're, we're just hyping you guys up for some future cool, fun fact topics. You guys can hear about something. True. And when we do talk about it, bam, I'm sure there's going to be some pop-ups right here saying, go check out that cool, fun fact. Yeah. Um, what makes you think it's a suit? Because it looks like a normal dude walking in a suit. Dragging some sort of 40 pound suit. Yeah, I mean, so you could extend your arms to make it longer, like in the footage via a suit. Well, I just so, for I, instance, when, when did Harry and the Hendersons come out? In the 80s? I know it was like 80s, 20 90s? Years, 20 years. Yeah, I think that was the mid 80s. 20, 30 years, depending. Yeah. It's quite but a bit I mean, of time. That is, uh, I mean, 20 years is a long time to be able to develop a, yeah. a suit. I True. I mean, go back and walk, look at suits from that time. Like, oh, watch the old Planet of the Apes. Real crazy. <laughs> and you're like, nah, I can't do that. I'll, I'll tell you personally, which I've said before in the video, I flip flop. As a kid growing up, super interested in all the paranormal stuff. I had books with, like, that picture of Patty or the Loch Ness Monster, so I was like, super on board, and then I was like, no, I can't exist, none of this, blah, blah, But I've come around, and I'm like, I think Bigfoot could be one of those cryptids that does exist. Yeah, and bringing up your topic from your review of it, like, yes, there are people that are 9'6", but they were just kind of guessing it, and with how far away it could... 6'9". 6'9". Nope, 9'6". Nope, 9'6". There's six. never been a 9'6 <laughs> <six> human being. <laughs> yeah, there has, then we've found bones of giant... Yeah, we can go do videos on those too. Okay, my bad. Six nine. No, it's, 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 that's a precarious number. Right? <laughs> I'm <kidding. laughs> whoa, okay, whoa, whoa. but PG, PG. A little zip up zoot. Zip, zip up, up zoot. A little zip up zoot zoot. <laughs> zoot. <laughs> I mean, the coloring. Yeah, I could have hit it. Could have, but, but I don't like, see any scenes. Someone being six nine, like well, that was also just from, from a video camera from the sixties. Taken from a very long distance, and then when you go and edit something like that, to be able to slow it down and clean it 60s, up. Yeah. What Andrew's saying is, he wants us to fly him out there, have him walk the exact path to show him it can't be a suit. I'll buy a suit; he can walk in the suit. Another thing is, so the footprints were deeper in the mud than the horse footprints. That's a lot of weight to do that. That is a lot of weight. So did they, did they film it walking up to it and stuff like that? They filmed the tracks. You, you don't think they could have put the tracks there first before the dude started walking? But how would they? If it's more the than a The film horse. is three days long. They've been out there for three days now. You think three days is long enough to set this up? Who set it up, though? I'm just, we're just trying to debate, trying to make it a little bit cleaner right, than some other I'm debates you might have seen lately, but, you know. True. Prove me wrong otherwise. I think what we need to do is go try to see how difficult it is to make these footprints. Yeah, we should do a test. And haven't they done many a test before? Yeah, like, not Geo said there, it's a real, they said it's a real creature. They said they do not think it's a man I see. Why? The way it moves. I, I need more information. Uh, I just, I straight up need more information. how deep the prints go. Yeah. See, Cooks is just trying. I'm going off of a three minute video. Yeah, Cooks just wants us to fly out of California. I'm not against. We'll do it. And that way we'll rent some horses. I'd be down. We'll make them walk in the mud. Let's and then. It. The place might be on fire right now. Yeah. I mean, Colorado's right on, on fire. fire. Wyoming's on fire. California is definitely on fire. California is, I mean, T's and P's to everybody that's, you know, on fire. Hope yeah. everyone's okay. You know, it's a terrible loss going on right now. It is. Um, hopefully we can get it under control because this is not normal to be going on. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's around the season, but... Just the size, the amount. Yeah, how dry it's amount. been. Like, we haven't got rain, but also the fires affected that. I mean, they changed oh, yeah. the weather. The climate. Probably global warming. No, it definitely is. Yeah. All right, so final thoughts on the count of three. We'll each say what we think it is. All right, one, two, three, real. There is no oh. such thing as Bigfoot. I'm going to say, 
double real. I'm going to veto his answer and uh, say it's real for him, and it's real. And probably aliens. Oh, my <laughs> All right, so please help us break this tie. Let us know in the comments below. Do you agree with Andrew? Do you think it's a man in a suit? Do you agree with Sam? Could, it, could Bigfoots be aliens or interdimensional beings? Do you think it's, like I do, a real flesh and blood creature? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you want to see more of these, click right above my face. If you want to see more from Cool's Paranormal, click above Andrew's face. And don't forget to like, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. And hit that notification bell if you want to see more of our videos. Make sure to switch it from personalized to all if you want to get notified on all the videos. Other than that, have a good October. Don't believe Andrew or Keegan. Aliens all the way. <laughs> Keegan thinks it's aliens too, even though he says he's not. He's not. He's lying. And... What the fuck?